Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. This video today is gonna take place in my car and I'll tell you where I'm going. All right, on my way headed to the machine shop again, I'm going to pick up my cylinder head. Um, if you watched the video, you saw that I took a cylinder head when I dropped the engine off because I had a exhaust bolt that was stuck in it. And they're gonna, they, they actually took the, the broken bolt out for me. And so I'm gonna go pick up the cylinder head and get it boxed up and ready to ship off to Texas Speed. All right, just picked up my head from the machine shop and I'm getting ready to put it over here so I can box it up and ship it off. All right, I got the heads wrapped up and boxed up and I'm probably going to take them to FedEx or UPS um, tomorrow, maybe. Heads are boxed up on back of my truck with the label printed out. And I'm getting ready to go drop them off to the FedEx drop-off point. Get them out of here. Um, not sure how long this is going to take, but... Of course, I'm going to record um, when I actually, when they ship them back to me and I open up the box and I'll give you guys a look at how the um, heads look once they come back fresh from Texas Speed. So, alright, well, let me go ahead and get these heads dropped off. Okay, um, heads just came back from Texas Speed and as I mentioned, uh, this was a super fast turnaround. It was two weeks, but of course FedEx um, kept delaying my shipment. Um, it took three days for me to get it. They kept saying it was gonna be here this day and then it was delayed and then this day and it was delayed, but I finally have it now. So as promised, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the heads and inspect them and let you look at them on the camera. All right, so let's get to it. All right, let's go ahead and get the first box up. Gotta be careful because this thing has sharp edges. Pick this up. Alright, as you can see, heads look good. Look at the exhaust runners and intake runners. Let's flip it over, look at the valves. The deck is smooth. Stainless steel valves. And of course, all the decks are smooth, milled. All right, so let's get this one back in and let's pull the other one out the box. This 
know I love my stickers. Fill in the head number two. Again, look at the runners on it. They look good. This one's 58, the other one was 57. All the surfaces look good. And let's look at the valves. Again, got some stainless steel valves. only difference that I notice on this is on the ones that I have on the GTO they actually had PRC race components on on this edge but that's the only difference so far um, and of course the ones on the GTO don't have stainless steel valves but other than that everything looks good get this back in the box and get it put up okay i'm just closing this video out in this video you saw i had to go and pick up my cylinder head from the machine shop um and i actually got them wrapped up and sent off to texas speed and i got them back um like i said before it took two weeks to get back um minus the couple of days that fedex pretty much jerked me around but other than that the heads came back you see they look good and everything so i'm just ready to get this engine assembled and merry christmas for all you who celebrate christmas um happy holidays if you celebrate anything other than christmas and i'm gonna be dropping my next video on the sunday after christmas so check out the video on the sunday after christmas this is going to be my last video before christmas and my next video is going to be the Sunday after Christmas. So check that out. So again, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, click subscribe. Click that notification bell so you get updated on when I drop my videos. Just like I said before, I normally put videos out once a week. Right now, I put them out at noon on Sundays. I may or may not change that. It just depends. Um, right now, it's once a week. Once I start getting more content, it might be more than once a week. So make sure you hit that notification bell to find out when I drop new videos. And I do have a good project coming that I promise you, you will be interested in. So as always, I'll see you in the next video.